ラスベガスで開催されたオール MLB アワード大谷選手はハンク・アーロン賞を2年連続エドガー・マルティネス賞を4年連続で受賞しましたセカンドチームに選出された今永投手は豪華ブス号を熱唱し3年連続でファーストチームに選出されたムーキー・ベッツ選手はスピーチで会場を沸かせていましたドジャースネーションでも取り上げられレポーターの d マップことダグマケイン氏がレッツ選手の変化についてと大谷選手の今季のホームランについて語っていました。Yesterday at the award show where he had Mookie Betts, he was rocking his turtleneck. I don't know if that was for Brent Honeywell, but he was asked a question about the future of Major League Baseball and the Dodgers. And here's what Mookie had to say All these guys, Mook, they trying to get where you are right now. They want to be you. So, I want to see if you can give them some kind of motivational speech, any kind of advice you can give all these guys trying to get to where you are.、Um, I would say y'all just got to wait the, the next seven years. <laughs> after that, then y'all can win. But I, right now, no, you just got to wait. I love it. So, I love that from Mookie Betts. He's leaning fully into the villain role. And of course, the seven years. Is relevant because hey, he's going to be in Los Angeles for a lot longer. And you got Shohei Otani under contract. You have Freddie Freeman still under contract for three more seasons. And this team is only going to add. And it really shows the difference between this Dodgers team and Mookie Betts. I mean, Mookie Betts, what was the narrative about Mookie Betts for the last couple of seasons? Mookie is the Mr. Nice Guy. He has every player on his podcast. That's all he cares about is his podcast and bowling and being Mr. Nice Mookie. This is no more Mr. Nice Mookie, right? He is the Mookie man. He's out there winning World Series titles. He's out there saying that it's every other team's World Series to face the Dodgers. And it was an interesting question. He kind of set him up there to have to say something. And Mookie could have said anything. I mean, look, anytime you're a professional athlete, you're not really going to give other professional athletes that much advice. But still, I think it was, it was、uh, definitely telling. For where this Dodgers organization is headed to, because they truly are at the top of Major League Baseball. We've thought that for the past couple seasons. We felt that this team gives this organization all the resources and this team and Dave Roberts everything they need to go out there and win multiple World Series titles, but they haven't done it. Now they've done it. Now it's how many do you add? Are you going to be a team that wins? A couple World Series? Are you going to be a team that truly establishes itself as a dynasty? Because let's not forget, in Major League Baseball, it is the hardest sport to develop a dynasty. You haven't had a back to back champion since the 2000 Yankees. You haven't had a back to back champion in the National League since the Reds of the 70s. So the Dodgers have a chance to do something very, very special. This is Shohei's franchise. This is still Mookie's team. And I think that that is the kind of energy that these guys are going to feed off of is we are the villains. You have LA in the villains, right? You have this Mookie that's turned heel, rocking the turtleneck, the sunglasses at the MLB award show, saying, hey, you want to come win World Series titles? Come do it in LA. Come do it with the Dodgers. So, I love what I saw from Mookie Betts. I love that, that hubris from him because it's not Goody Two Shoes Mook anymore. He said he wanted to win rings. He's done that. Now it's how many rings can you win? Why was he at that award show? It's because he made his fifth first team all MLB team. And he did it from 2019 to 2020 and 2022, 2023. And they did it last season. So, yeah, I mean, Mookie Betts missed a significant amount of time this season and still put together a really Incredible season when he was on the diamond. I mean, he hit 289, 372, slug 491, was 45% above league average offensively, had a 4.8 war. And I think what really sticks out for Mookie, we might never see this again, but you could go back and say that was one of the most selfless things a superstar has ever done. North of 30 to take on the challenge of playing shortstop at a big league level. It just has never been done. It literally was the first time that's ever been done. And he started 61 games at shortstop, 12 at second base, and then he went back to right field. But Mookie Betts has been one of the great contracts 
that Andrew Friedman has signed. And I think Fre they've hit on all their superstars, right? You hit on Mookie, you've hit on Freddie, and certainly you hit on Shohei Otani. So yeah, you got to give credit to this, this Dodgers team for going out there and spending big, but spending big on the right guys, right? And spending big on the guys that win World Series titles. And you also had Taos Hernandez yesterday, who made the second team all MLB. And he was also in the second team in 2021. And Freddie Freeman, he was the only guy to earn MLB players uh, uh, honors all the time in the, the first five years of the award, which started in, in 2019. And he really had his moment in the postseason. So yeah, really good to see the Dodgers continuing to get these awards and get the credit they deserve for an incredible regular season. I mean, Shohei Otani, he won the Edgar Martinez Award for the best DH. He won the National League Hank Aaron Award as the league's best offensive player. Shohei Otani is cleaning up at the award show circuit. I mean, he first team all DH in 2021 and 2023, second team in 2022. And he was also a first team starting pitcher in 2022 and 2023. So these guys are stacking it up but i guarantee you that these individual awards since they've already accomplished that all they have left is to win world series titles and continue to pad those hall of fame legacies gonna do a little dodgers did you know it's, it's time, time for dodgers, dodgers did you know all this the most 450 plus foot home runs this season the rockies had 11 and then shohei otani had nine all by himself so the Rockies had the most at 450 plus feet home runs. The Rockies had 11, 450 plus foot home runs this season. Shohei was second with nine. The Diamondbacks had seven. The Yankees had seven with Aaron Judge and Stanton and all those boppers and the Pittsburgh Pirates had five. So just think about that. The Rockies, a team that plays 81 games at Coors Field. I always say Coors Field playing there is like bowling with the bumpers on. And you were only able to hit 11 and then show a it's nine all by himself. They only had two more 450 foot home runs than Shohei Otani. So think about that. The Dodgers best starting pitcher. He was responsible for nine 450 foot home runs. Just I got to word things that way just so we never forget how ridiculous Shohei Otani is. So, unbelievable. The Dodgers, by the way, have 10 total, including Shohei Otani. Only had one outside of that. But when you see Shohei in the box as a left-handed hitter, hitting to right center the way he does under the Daiso sign, we don't see that. That isn't normal. Shohei Otani, one of the best sluggers in the game. レッツ選手は会場で7年はドジャースの天下だと煽り最高のスピーチでした。これからはヒール役になりより